Hi, I'm Skip Lashon. Today it's going to be my pleasure to take you through one of my favorite boats, our Cobia 237 Center Console. We're going to start out on the water with a walkthrough on the water, show you all the features of the boat, and we'll end up back in our manufacturing facility here in Fort Pierce, Florida, where Scott Deal will take you through the hull portion of the boat. Starting at the bow of the new 237 Center Console Cobia, we start up here at the front, a very nice anchor locker. A lot of people don't realize, but a lot of boats have a lot of very small spaces for their anchor. This one's large enough for a very large anchor, a lot of chain and road, and also an anchor ball with a lot of people use offshore. So we have a large anchor locker here. You'll notice all flush hardware, flush chocks, even a flush bow light. Right there, flip it down when not in use. Again, flush chocks, flush cleats up front, all big walk around gunnels up front. Moving aft a little bit, you'll notice the handrail all the way around the front of the boat. Anywhere you are in this boat, you can grab a hold of it. Walking back and forth, you can grab a hold of it. Up here, we're looking at our cushion package, which is very nice. You have a bolster, which acts as a nice backrest. So you can sit down here very comfortable. Three, four people could sit up here. The nice thing about this area up here, it has 360 degrees fishability. A lot of people don't think about that either, but watch this. This comes out, full access to the bow, fighting a sailfish, walking around, walking back and forth, full access, front and back, right here. Moving aft on the 237, you can see I've removed the cushions, the optional cushion package up front. What you couldn't see when I had the cushions on here was the storage. It's got great storage under here. One on each side. They go all the way forward up here. It's a very large box. Works very well. As you can see we have some tackle in this one. Works very well. And then when you don't want, you put the cushions back on and you have your seating area up front. Moving back, I want, to, I want you to take notice of what we have here on the floor. This is a great storage area. Great, it looks, you know, it's, it's a huge box. You'll see when I open up what we put here. In this particular model, we have this, our safety gear. About to go out and do a wet test on this boat. So we have our safety gear down here. But you can see, I mean, this is a very large storage. Moving aft on the 237, we come next to the console. The command center, spend a lot of time here. Um, you can see this is a very robust console. Large seating area up front with a built-in cooler underneath, which is very nice. Also, we've made this where really two people can sit up here. You can see, I take one side, somebody can sit here next to me. It's a nice place to ride, nice place to cruise when you're out with friends. Nice two-tone cushions, double-stitched, all very rich looking. Um, I would like you to take notice also of the T-top. It's a double ring T-top, as you can see. Also, very robust. This is not your average T-top you see in a lot of models. Very big OD here on the, on the tubing. Um, all backed into backing plates, attached with backing plates, so very, very solid. Moving attached. back on the console of the 237, I want you to take notice how this is laid out. A lot of thought went into this switch panel. Everything's right here at your disposal. All your live well pumps, your bilge pumps are all right here together. Freshwater wash, saltwater wash, a couple of accessory switches. Trim tabs are right here. Everything is well within reach. Courtesy lights, everything's right here within reach. Binnacle, obviously. Two command link gauges on this particular model, as you can see. We mount these over here so we leave plenty of room in the console for flush mounting electronics. You can put two pieces in here if you like, or one big piece, however you like. You also have a large area on the top that you can mount electronics if you wanted. Put things up here, storage, charts, all those kind of things. Uh, this one, as you see, mounted here with the binnacle. Uh, drink holders right here. You can never have too many drink holders. It's got a little storage box under here. Also, take notice of this. There's a toe kick, which makes this very, very comfortable. You don't want to stand up the whole time. You can kind of wedge yourself in. It gets a little rough. However, wedge yourself right in. Very, very nice. Of course, your, your key switch and your kill switch is right here. Uh, moving up on the T-top now, you have a very, like I say, a very robust T-top with a built-in electronics box. So you have all kind of room in this boat for electronics. You can see you can store things up here, charts if you'd like, put your VHF radio, your stereo, whatever else you'd like to put up in here. Has a built-in fluorescent light. Also has the mounts right here for outriggers. So if you want to put outriggers on your boat, again, it's a double ring. Also gives you a place to hold on to right here. Coming back, you've got, you've got uh, floodlights on both sides. Uh, four rod holders up here to get the rods out of the way. But like I say, very, very robust T-top right here. Also take note on the T-top is the zip out for another, another storage area. A lot of people like to store their PFDs up here, as you can see. Right here, you can store lots of things in here. Again, most people put their PFDs, but this is a very, very nice little area right here. Very easy to, at your disposal right here. One of the things that I really, really like about this boat, and not many people think about, 
is, is this leaning post and the storage in the leaning post. Um, one great feature that I really like when I'm running my boat, it bothers me if I want to get a drink or if I'm by myself. And I have to stop the boat, stop what I'm doing, go forward where the cooler normally is to grab a drink. We've solved that problem right here. Very nice insulated cooler right here. Use it for drinks, sandwiches, whatever you want. You can use it as a fish box if you want to. You could also use it as dry storage if you wanted to. Very nice feature right here. This cushion lifts up, storage underneath, and or cooler. Also moving down on the leaning post is the footrest. You have it both ways. You have a toe kick on the console, or if you want to sit back, put your feet up, you can do that along with your passenger. Plenty of room. Backrest hits you right here in your lower lumbar, which is very, very comfortable. Um, gives you a lot of support right here. But yeah, this is a very, very comfortable way to go. Folds up out of the way if you want to stand up. Again, here you are standing up, running the boat. You got plenty of room between the helm and where you're leaning. Stand up, run the boat. Again, moving aft on the leaning post. You have the four rod holders right here. Very easy to get to, like a tackle center. Moving aft on the leaning post here. It's a very, very nice feature. It's tackle storage. You can never have enough tackle storage on the boat. You can see back here, you've got three, you've got two drawers and a slide out. The slide out holds the Plano boxes, as you can see, which is a real nice feature. It's all right here, built into the boat. You don't have to take it on and off the boat every time you go. Drawer here, drawer here. Very, very nice feature of this post. Again, with the, got the rod holders right here, drink holders right here. Everything's right here at your disposal. Very easy to get to from the console. Try to make this all very easy, very user friendly. Moving aft on the Cubby at 237 center console is a very nice feature. It's a built-in flush mounted aft seat. So it's very nice. As you can see, it's in the up position now. So if you're fishing, walking around here in the back, it's up out of the way. If you have passengers, you're riding, works very, very simply. Pull it up, locks into place, and there you are. A very nice place to sit. This is the most comfortable spot on the boat. Works extremely well. I'll show you something else that's pretty neat about this. Put it away, folds back down. Of course, if you want this out of the way, this removes. You can take this out of the way. Use my rod holders now for fishing rods, but watch this. People say you, you want to get, be able to get to all your stuff in the bilge. It's all right here. Very easy to get to. I've shown this to a lot of people. Everybody says, boy, what a great idea. All your live well pump, bilge pump, fuel filter, battery, everything's right here in the, down here in the bilge. Very easy to get to. You could crawl in here if you had to. All your wirings right here just makes it very, very easy to get to, very easy to work on and rig. Going with the fishing part of this boat again, I want to show you the, the, the fish boxes on the boat. A lot of people ask about fish boxes, where do you keep your fish? Well, look at here. Huge fish box. Goes all the way, I mean, this thing goes way forward. I'm not even touching the wall yet. It goes way forward. Very big, large enough for a, a, a big dolphin, big kingfish, big, uh, big grouper. This will hold a lot of fish. Macerator pumps, and there's one on each side. There's one on the port side, one on the starboard side. All hydraulic lift assist. You're not out here in rough water banging around with you. Open it, get that, get that dolphin in there. He's jumping all over the deck. Get him in there quick. Get the door closed. Also, compression latches, compresses, compresses the lid down, makes a very tight fit. Another nice feature, say you're out with the kids, you're tubing, you're skiing, you're snorkeling, you're diving, whatever you're doing, very nice for you got to be able to get in and out of the boat. We have a hidden boarding ladder here, which is nice, fiberglass cover, ladder folds down and goes all the way down three steps, as you can see, very deep, so you're not trying to pull yourself up, you can step up and into the boat. And then once you step up and you're in the boat, it's nice to be able to wash off with fresh water occasionally. Your fresh water wash down head is right here. Stand up, wash the kids off, wash yourself off before you get back in the boat and get that salt water off yourself. Another great feature, another family feature, probably one we get asked about more than anything else. Inside the console, huge stand-up console, over six feet of headroom in here with a full head. This, this particular model is powered with a new Yamaha four-stroke offshore 250, which is a great combination on this boat. It's balanced very well, as you can see, the way we're sitting here at the dock. Plenty of power on the, on the back of it. Um, I'll go up here and I'll start it. I don't know if you'll be able to hear this. Probably not, because it's a four-stroke. It's very quiet. There it is. There's your motor running. 
You can say a great power package. This also, these new motors come equipped with what they call, what Yamaha calls the SDS, sound dampening system. I don't know if you notice on a lot of boats, when you put them in gear, you get that clunk, a loud noise. I'll do this just here at the dock. I'll put this boat in gear, see if you can hear this. Very little noise whatsoever. It takes that clunk out of it. It's a, it's a new washer on the prop, on the, on the hub, and it just works very well. I'm putting this boat in and out of gear. You can't even hear it going in and out of gear. Now that we've gone through the top side features of the Cobia 237, we're going to jump back to our manufacturing facility where Scott Deal will take us through the running portion of the boat, the hull. That's good. When people are buying a boat, oftentimes they never get a chance to look at the actual bottom of the boat. The bottom's the most important part because, like the tires in your car, it's what you actually ride on in, in the water. We're here at the Cobia factory, and we just pulled this 237 out of the dunk tank in QC. You'll notice in the forward section of the boat how fine this entry is. Fine is a marine term for sharp. A fine entry is a very sharp entry, as opposed to a more blunt or possibly rounded entry. A fine entry, just like a sharp knife, is going to cut through the water much quicker, cleaner, and with less disruption to your ride. We carry this fine entry all the way back to the transom where you can notice, if you look down here, we have a very, very sharp V. Above that, and from the chines up, you'll also notice that we have a nice wide flare which helps take whatever spray does come up and deflect it away from the cockpit and helps keep you dry. When, you, when you're riding in your Cobia and you notice how soft the boat rides and, and how dry the boat is, it's because of these features, the fine entry, the deep dead rise carried all the way aft, as well as the flare, which together in combination give that superior ride and stability that has made this hull so famous.